Welcome back to 10 Minutes of Shop. Thanks for tuning in. As always, join the Patreon. Generally speaking, you get early access yes. to Timos if you do that. It's usually up a few days early. This week, I was on vacation, as you can see. This redacted T-shirt that I got. This is uh, not something that Brendan Walsh for the World Record Podcast bought us. This is something <laughs> I spent my own money on. But there is a rumor circulating that he bought us these chairs, B. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, maybe we'll reveal who really bought us the chairs <laughs> on Patreon. No. Uh, we are reviewing stand-up specials on Patreon. The last one we did was well, Bill Burr. The last one we did, what? we didn't do one this last oh, week. Oh, that's right. We didn't do one. We dropped some hot stand-up of ourselves, dude. Yeah. So you guys, some of you sometimes ask, hey, I want to see what your stand-up is like. Well, Bapa, you can check it out on our Patreon. Ever heard of it? Yeah. I did. I posted a clip for me doing 30 minutes from 2019. No Gerardo. big deal. No, no big, big deal. You know, it's easy, dude. I'm one of the 1,000 that can do dude, it. Wait till I get 30 minutes. Dude. <laughs> wait till I get 30. <laughs> no. You want to see my stand up? <laughs> oh, join the page. Oh, no. <laughs> they really want. Yeah, join the Patreon, though, if you want to see it. And we also, Gerardo did some, uh, some stand up of his own on there. I don't want to spoil the Dirt McGee, but. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what we think about our own stand up. Yeah. But nobody knows who we are. We don't matter. You're not here for that. No, you are not. here for ten minutes of shop. So, without further ado, uh, play the chin clip. Start yes. the timer now. All righty. The first one is posted by Fish Off Man. It's called Joe has some serious self control for not calling him a dumbass. You can see that he really wanted to. Let's see. Amazing. Yeah. Bro, here's the thing. He's going to be better in his next fight now. Because now he knows what he did to Izzy. He's going to be better. So is Izzy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, dude. Dang. Just looking at him like a dad who's furious and frustrated. Yeah, dude. It's like, ah. But, I mean, you know what that is? The shop stepping out on his own. He said he was kind of named the waters a little bit there. He said, so is Izzy. He didn't just agree. Like, Sean's going to be the most ready. Yeah, dude. You 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 know what that tells me, dude? Is that they're not posting and ghosting anymore, B. That's oh, a, yeah? That's a thing of the past, dude. They're okay. fucking reading all the comments, dude. Yeah, ho- hopefully. Hopefully some of it sinks through but because it could be funny in a different way. Yeah. Because that was funny and he did the right thing. Yeah. He had his own opinion, sort of. Well, I was just going off of what you said, so I don't really believe that. I think, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I think that fucking Shab really thinks that this is a turning point for his <laughs> yeah, <laughs> losing Sonya, dude. <laughs> to Sean Strickland. <laughs> did yeah. you see the fight? No, I, no, I didn't see it. You yeah. watched it? No. But yeah. I saw the clips. Yeah. I, saw, I watched the clips. <laughs> I didn't even say, yeah, you saw, well, you saw the clips on Chang's. Yeah, dude. It was, it was you th- dicey. Side note, do you think that, because I said without further ado, do you think Shab's ever said without further ado? Oh, dude. Because that seems like something he Yeah. With, without farting on the dude. You know? <laughs> yeah, that's if he, even, yeah. if he says that, I'm worried he should be really worried because that's when the brain is gone. Baby. He's definitely said without further ado, that's the hottest guy I've ever seen right there. <laughs> yeah. He's balls <laughs> deep in complimenting guys. All right, dude, this this one rocked our world on the fucking Discord this last week. I don't know who posted on the Discord. Oh, yeah, this is a classic. But uh, GoCats2341 posted something called The Call Before the Storm, dude. I love this. It's just a story post. The Call Before the Storm. Ain't nothing like a Covina crowd, though. It's so good, man. Yeah. It's so... The Call Before the Storm, because we did... A door song. Yeah. You know, I like that saying, calm before the storm. Call before the storm. And he just writes call. Like, it's yeah. it's almost as if he's doing it for us at mm-hmm. this point. And then ain't nothing like a Covina crowd. It's just the icing on the cake because no one's in there. Dude. Also, How would you know it's good? Who People that use that uh, font and background <laughs> type, they got like 30 followers tops, dude. <laughs> it's just them with their crazy. That's like, hey, be that's cool, like, Gerardo. Be that's cool. like manifesto writing, dude. You know uh, I mean? yeah, it's it's a sign of someone that doesn't really know social media because I'm never on Instagram. So yeah. I don't know if I've used that font, but I'm, it's a random choice whenever yeah. I use font. I think I put that there. I'm like, will people be able to read this? It kind of looks bad. And he exclusively uses that one. Really? I'm just saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm just talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the podcast, dude. You know what I mean? It's just great. It's well, it's like the artist at work, you know? Yeah, dude. This is his best. This, this is, is amazing. Picasso, dude. Okay, this is Piscasco. Piscasco. You're right, dude. Yeah. What, are, what are you, Piscasco, bro? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go on. We could talk about that all day, but let's get to this one, dude. It's a clip by All I Do Is Lie To You. Oh, my gosh. It's called Bapa Is Getting Upset With Brian Over His Bigger Show in Texas. Let's Uh-oh. see. 
I don't know what it is, but you know that you're you know that you're good friends when you can look at your friend and lie to him and then No, I lied over text. Well, well yeah, I said, eye. can you guys do pop- <laughs> I like he's admitting over lying. It is I out of context. Lying. It, but it being out of context make it look like uh Brendan's like, come on, dude, lying's my thing, dude. Don't put this on the ear waves. <laughs> he's know? like, I lied over text, not to your face. Yeah. What's the difference? They're both <laughs> lies. Yeah. They're not Mexican lies. They're white lies, dude. <laughs> if he said that, then yeah, that would be something he says. Are those Taco yeah. Bell Mexican lies or white lies? <laughs> yeah, dude. Either way, eight inches, dude. <laughs> Let's see. You were correct. It's fact. Three o'clock. And you go, no, I have to be in Hollywood at 2.30. And by, I went. By Hollywood. And I was like, interesting. Okay. Because I, I guess I, I, we won't do the podcast at three because I, I want to do something in Texas and I uh, got to hold Callan's feet to the fire a little bit because yep. he's he's treating us like a side piece. Yep. And then I feel- <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, is that about like uh, Crowder or something? Is Crowder in Texas? Uh, probably. But you know, if anyone knows how to you how people treat side pieces, get 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 Uh-oh, get. Oh damn. Uh oh. You know what I'm saying, dog? Look at those shoes, Road dude. Alert. <laughs> oh fuck, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those shoes, dude. What do you think about these shoes right here, dude? I mean, they're a step up from the butterfly. <laughs> yeah, show, show that rain. Rain, baby. They're a, step, they're a step up from those butterfly Gucci shoes, I guess. They're not as bad. They're a step back, dude. I you rather, think so, yeah. really? Mm-hmm. I don't know. This is a pretty normal getup for him besides the hat, which is like it's like that backward S that you write in elementary oh, yeah. school. Remember that? And then it turns the out board. it's like something to do with Nazis or something, dude. No, nah, I don't think so. Somebody said It kind of looks like it, but yeah. no, I, don't, I don't think it has it's anything to do with that. The super S, dude. The, the super, super yeah, whatever. I don't, is that what it's called? The super S? That's what I call it. I just remember everyone would draw that in notebooks and stuff. Did you ever get the tutorial on the super S? I just was so bad at drawing stuff, man. I couldn't do it. Dude, that's where millennials started their artistic Picasso's careers, dude. Yeah. Is where they learned how to do the super S. You just draw three lines on top, three lines on bottom. Mm-hmm. And then when the guy's like, watch this, and he connects the lines and it makes an S, that, that made a lot of them. That made Banksy, I heard. Can't spell S without uh, or can't spell shop without super S. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. That's why I'm. That's why I'm paying attention to Papa. But I those shoes, dude. That's like that short lady shoe, dude. You know how short chicks wear shoes with big fucking platforms. Oh, you know what I mean? Right. So you're what, saying he may be a smaller feet, dude. Look at this. How tall is this man? He's like six something, right? I think so. Why he's is he? like six four, six three. I have no idea. Maybe I'm. Maybe I'm fucking. Calling before the storm, dude. But I don't know. What's the thing in the middle now that they have? What's that? What is that? It that looks like, like an, an, thing. an antique piece. Something oh. they're selling. Oh, you'll see later, dude. Oh, it gets revealed. Yeah, oh, nice dude. a reveal. This is what the Stay cool tuned. thing about ten minutes of shop is, dude. <laughs> we're learning as we go, baby. You were saying earlier the chairs are virtually identical. Yeah, they are. are they, they have are. the crease. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, the dude. recliner, bro. One day we're gonna get a fucking the Gerardo and the fucking bald. On the back behind us, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should get the the lettering like that. Yeah, figure out how it's done. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Crowder's a your main bit. chick. A little bit. No, Crowder's the main Call, chick. Called it. Best brains, B. I didn't know he's in Texas. Let's see. You keep canceling shows. We got you keep coming in late. So I was wait. You know what? Not today. I'm yeah. gonna lie. Hold chin your check to me the a little. Chin, chin check. check. Me. Now, now. Well, what's funny is when I got that text, I kind of you know. knew. I was like, ah. My dear friend's lying to me. Yes. And then we get here and it's 1248. So I know that he doesn't have to be in Hollywood. I love we had this until, serious talk and he'd yeah. walk up and go, hey, we, had, we, had, we just had a really serious real talk, serious a great talk, talk about, about, comedy about things, stuff. about comedy. And career. And I and walk- you- what? It's like the same thing that happened with Theo, isn't it? When I was, when he was about to leave, he was saying, oh, he's somewhere else. He never shows up. He's barely on the show. Now he's doing it to Brian. Now listen here, Cult dude. of personality. Have you been keeping up with Mr. Theo Vaughn's latest activities? Uh, oh, are they calling out cast media? Yeah, dude. Yeah. So, listen, to the cats in attendance here today, you know, we both had an off week, so I haven't been really keeping up with the Changs. Yeah. But are people trying to, like, say that that has something to do with him and Brendan breaking up because Brendan invested into podcast <laughs> one? You know what I'm saying? He, si- he sided with Colin Thompson and the guy from podcast one. I'm not making a joke. Is that what they're saying? So they're saying yeah, I've been that off some on vacation. He invested in Podcast One. Brendan Chop did. Oh wow! And then that's why they keep sharing the stock price of Podcast One. They share it on T Fat K. No, they share it on the Changs. Dude. Oh, 
Yeah. Oh, that's a very interesting plot development. Yeah. So no wonder he doesn't want a fucking hot chip, dude. Yeah, dude. He doesn't want to get... He got stolen from. Yeah. They stole money out of him. I watched that. Yeah, I watched that whole thing. He's like, you you messed with the wrong one, man. Yeah. Come for you, man. Yeah, he's like, I may not win in court, but I'll win with your mother. Something like that, right? He said that? No. That's hilarious. Just, <laughs> <laughs> All right. He just dropped mom jokes. <laughs> and he's out $4 million. He's like, I might not get the money back, but I fucking fucked your mom, bitch. <laughs> Calling like, okay. Thompson. <laughs> I fucked Mrs. Thompson real good. I replied to one of his uh, Colin Thompson's tweets, and then he went private. Oh, you did? Yeah, because I I saw the thing. I watched it, his Theo's clip, and then um, I went to his account, and everybody was replying to his first tweet. And then I looked him up because I was curious to know like who he was. I heard a little bit about this from somebody else, and uh, and he had the this article came up some podcast network, and it said it said what his uh, being accused of, and then he was like uh, Colin Thompson responded to this article with just uh, the paste, a copy and paste of libel. And we responded back to him and he said, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to send it like that. I was just showing you. I was curious myself what was libel. Dude, like, that's what, like dude. The, dude. <laughs> oh, are you Shab? They, yeah. they're, they work well. They would work well together. I oh, think. yeah. Same brain level. The scam, the fighter, and the kid. Fuck, dude. Yeah. I fucking didn't. Uh, the TSTF. Scam TK, cop, poppy. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> You come for the botches. Yeah, dude. We fucked that one up. Well, that oh. was on both of us, dude. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. This next one's posted by Dicey Redact. It's called Major Network. It's so funny how often the lore of Gringo Poppy pops up both on our show and theirs. Yeah. It's the one of the most fascinating things that ever happened. Uh, but I'm belie- I believe this is a long time before the Gringo Poppy dropped. Have you seen this clip yet? Uh, I don't think so. Strap the fuck in, dude. Strap the fuck in. Yeah. Oh, if you're pissed now, God, a major network picked up my 30 minute special. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> you do YouTube? Dude, a billion dollar network owned by Google. Fucking Damn, bought dude. my special, dude. Did YouTube have anything to do with like like uh, pumping up his special at all? <laughs> Did he talk to anyone at YouTube, you think? Uh, do you, he does YouTube? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> I hope he does, dude. Let's see. I shoot in November in Dallas. <laughs> Even Brian's laughing like you're fucking lying. Dude. <laughs> he's probably yeah. He's either you're lying or like laughing because the idea of Brennan doing a special at all. Yeah. After the first one. Or maybe he knows already it's going to be 30 minutes and that's hilarious. You know what though too is that maybe he fucking 25. 24. 24. Uh, what's it called? Let's just go lower, dude. 20. Yeah. 13. Uh, yeah. 13 minutes. It's about 13 minutes. Yeah. Well, it's fucking 10 minutes of solid stuff. Yeah, I mean, I've never really been a numbers guy, yeah. but I think it's about it's about uh, one and a half minutes <laughs> of solid stuff. Yeah, no, the solidest stuff is like a second long. It's Mr. Whole Foods. That's what I was about to say. Yeah, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, but part of me thinks that he's trying to do like a fucking, uh, you know, how fucking redacted the Andrew Scholl special was, dude. Yeah, it's awful. Where, listen, when he was dropping it, he was like, dude, I wanted to go on fucking Netflix or whatever. I wanted to go to a major fucking distributor, too. Mm-hmm. But they was like, hey, take this joke out. It was too dicey. And get, you know what I did? I said, for five minutes in the belly room, I'll suck your dick. <laughs> I would love to know what jokes they told him. Nah, I can't do that yeah. one. Like, which ones? None of them push the envelope on anything. They're all just stupid. But see, this, he does it for you, dude, because it's not fucking true. Yeah, you're right. It's a selling ploy. It riles idiots like me up, so yeah. we watch it. Yeah. I wonder what the percentage of people that hated that special that watched it. <laughs> Probably three. Yeah, he's probably There's only a thousand right? of us that understand comedy. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you watch Andrew Schultz and you think he's funny, you're an idiot. Oh, <laughs> naming the <laughs> waters, dude. I mean, that's just true. Well, you know, let's start this one over because we talked a lot here. Ready? Right. Yeah. Oh, if you're pissed now, God, a major network picked up my 30-minute special. Also, they're not called networks. YouTube is not a network. He's stuck in the past, but he's a, he's a historian. You know this. Yeah, you're right. He's he, knows all about, he knows all about a lot of stuff. Like historical things. Also, it bugs me that the fighter is on the right and the kid is on the left. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's not the kid and the fighter, dude. Good point. T Cafe. <laughs> 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 Let's see. I shoot in November in Dallas. <sighs> dude, you seem upset about that. I'm, I'm, just, I'm upset for them. <laughs> I'm upset for them. I wonder what that means. 
probably he knows what he's given putting the audience through. <laughs> he know yeah. He's like he already know. knows it's really bad. He's like, he has like he has C the C T E lets him have moments of clarity. Yeah. Just very small, but then he pumps back in and he's like, Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Man, for, name the movie. <laughs> <laughs> he's like uh he he's selling it to Netflix like I got the special called the Bro Whisperer. It's gonna be Netflix, right? Not block muscle, the Netflix. And then they're like, "All right, cool." And then at the last minute, he's like, "I want to change it to Gringo Poppy." They're like, get the fuck out of this office. Nah, dude. I like the idea of him using shabisms to sell it. Yeah. Oh, you know, I'm I'm so balls deep in this premise about how the vaccine sucks, and Netflix executives are like, "No, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's the call before the storm, dude." <laughs> yeah. They laugh afterwards. They're like, did he say call before the storm? <laughs> did he say smartest tool in the shed? Did he say There's balls deep in my office? All these Hulu executives just laughing and they like weeks and weeks of shop stuff where they talk to each other. Yeah. Dude, remember that they're the water cooler. Remember that guy what was the comedian, the idiot fighter guy, Brenda, Brenda, Brenda. Yeah. Yeah. We were calling him Brenda after the meeting. Oh, remember, yeah, yeah, yeah. remember how we treat him? Yeah. Why would his he last died. name be slob? He, they, <laughs> they're like, we dodged a bullet, dude. Because <laughs> imagine you you see the Showtime special and you still pick up a Brendan Schaub special after that. Yeah, executives aren't good. They're they may be dumb. They're they're in a strike right now. There's no one writing or acting. It seems like they're not the smartest. They're not the uh, sharpest, sharpest, or <laughs> smartest tools in the shed. smartest tools in the shed. Um, but uh, you know, they're not going to fall for Bapa. Yeah. They're not going to buy another Bapa special. Come on. Although maybe they should at this point because there's over 100,000 cats. Yeah. Who knows? Let's see. And also, too, it would never have been as big as it was because it would have been copyrighted left and right, dude. We're fucking lucky it came out on YouTube. I love that it's on YouTube. Yeah. I love YouTube. Let's see here. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when's this guy going to fucking stop, dude? You're upset for them. I'm upset for them. All right. The lie detective determined that was a lie. (laughs) 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 Yeah, you're probably right. Yes. <laughs> Dang, dude. What 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 do you think the major network was? If it really existed, I think he's probably talking about Netflix. Okay. Yeah, they're they're hot on the Rogan verse, dude. They got all the Protect Our Parks guys on there. Mm-hmm. Let's see here. This one's po- uh, this is the one you were showing me earlier. Yeah, this one blew me away. Yeah. I could not believe this when I watched it the first time. I sent it to people. I was like, dude. <laughs> Watch this. It's uh, posted by Ryan Joseph 82. It's called Great Chef. <laughs> Great Chef, dude. It's called Jeff Dye brings up other comedians hating Brendan Shaw. So I clicked on this because, you know, I'm redacted. And I was like, wait a minute. Are we about to get gadooshed? Yeah. But it was even better, dude. This, is, this I live for this. Let's see here. Of. It's like people are just bitches about stuff. <laughs> Especially if someone's <laughs> such a dude. great start, dude. Because you know that it's going to be real smart when someone's that's what they start with. Yeah. People are just bitches about stuff. <laughs> well, I don't want to be out of pocket here, but that color scheme is fire, dude. What I, what what shop is wearing? Yeah. The dad hat? Don't act like I said the dad hat was fire. The dad <laughs> hat is not fire. The, the baseball color scheme, jersey? Dude. The Nike the jersey? The golden hour logo behind him. His fucking jersey. He matched it. It's fucking dope, dude. Should we start matching things to things? Yeah, we should. You wear black. I guess we are wearing black, but I don't know if the... I'm not sure you can color scheme with... Uh, Floor mats and oh, dude, soundproof. Colors. Are we talking soundproofing or color schemes, dude? Because I'm soundproofing all day, daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> that jersey's not touching this temple, daddy. <laughs> all right, let's go. Successful. That's my point. Like Dana, the, the way they talk about massive. you, the way they talk about Dalia, the way they talk about Dane, the way that, I mean, people are fucking. T- Who, Dane? His voice broke a little bit there, too. People are fucking whack. <laughs> I'm, I'm nitpicking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm nitpicking a little bit, but it is. Because everyone's voice breaks, yeah. you know, it just happens. But it's very funny for your voice to break while defending Dane Cook. Oh my god, dude! People, Dane, people are like, what, really people are mean? fucking bitches, man. <laughs> and he's wearing some strange, like Navy captain homeland Homelander hat. He's wearing like PJs, <laughs> <laughs> like he's at a slumber party, dude. He is, yeah. He's got like a PJ shirt on, yeah. and then he's got a, a Homelander hat on from yeah. the boys. Yeah, dude. It's a bit much. But I'm liking what I'm hearing. I, when people come out the gate like this, 
standing in front of a rain hat and rain energy drinks saying, people are freaking bitches. People are like really mean to Dean. <laughs> Why do they still have that weird shit? What, that's what was in front of them and the other, the one on oh, the very far right? You'll see. Oh, God. You'll oh, yeah, see. I forgot. Yeah, dude. I mean, you're Did not I love even... Jeff Die just goes, man. <laughs> I like Jeff. People are like really mean to you, Brendan. Jeff says whatever he thinks Yeah. at the time he thinks it. Dude, if my voice were to crack when I was talking about getting shadow banned or people talking shit about me, I'd be like, I'm going to have to take like a month off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he's covering his face with the hat as if he's like, all right, I'm going to say these things, but I don't want anyone to yeah. see my face. You can not say them. detect my eyes. Dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's crying underneath the hat. <laughs> he's like, I can't believe I'm here. All right, let's go. <laughs> It's like people are just bitches about stuff. <laughs> Especially if someone's successful. Just so smart. Just like such great analysis, dude. Who could, you know, like a, ma- a real master of analyzations. True. You know, I just, I couldn't say something like that. Dude, best brains, dude. Best brains, indeed. People are like bitches about stuff, dude. <laughs> and then to follow that up with like, people are really mean. I want him to start the next show. He's, on, he's like, Bernie Cooney's a fucking bitch. <laughs> Gerard Alarcon is a fucking bitch. <laughs> I walked in there. I said, Gerard's a fucking bitch. <laughs> I want to get gadooshed. Let's see. Let's go. Should be careful what I ask for, though. That's my point. Like Dane, the, the way the they talk about massive. you, the way they talk about Dalia, the way they talk about Dane, the way that, I mean, people are. People <laughs> People are. People are. People are, people are. Duh. <laughs> Duh. 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 Wait. Dude, if I fucking dude, if my voice cracks when I'm defending Cook, dude. Dude, when I'm on the golden hour, I'm gonna crack my voice talking about Dan Cook, though. I'm gonna name the waters. I'm gonna say Gerardo Alarcon. You know, it's so funny. Like before the thing, they're like, I'm gonna say exact. I'm gonna talk about Gerardo yeah. on this podcast. Yeah, I'm gonna say his name, and they're like, <laughs> no, 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 don't do that. I'm gonna say his name. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna take down this open mic, <laughs> these two open micers who get ten thousand views an episode. Why, Jeff Day? They made fun of my voice cracking. Because, dude, I'm a numbers guy, B. Right. I'm a friend of Shop. Let's see you. Fucking terrible. Yeah, I, it makes terrible. me so mad. I just yelled at a chick. Oh, I should. Tell, I'll tell you that story. One. <laughs> I just yelled at a chick, dude. You're what you said about this is really funny, but I want I'll say it again, but. After? Let's play a little bit more because we're not on more. air. But I just yelled at a chick on your behalf the other day, and I was like, "Shut the fuck up!" On my behalf? No, on no, Brandon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at the improv in front of everyone, and they were like, "We like the way you dressed her down." I was like, "Yeah, well, she fucking deserved it." Yeah. I'm tired of these female comics. Yeah, good thing is that probably we're shouldn't great. say that. But uh, <laughs> I just, I just, why it, we're supposed to be getting, having fun, and telling jokes, and it's, yeah. it's turns but it's, into but all this weird. It's never a good comic. Uh, By I, the I, way, I don't even know the name. I'm sure it wasn't a good comment. Yeah, I said a female. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. There's like four oh, good ones. Job. He goes for the fucking family. Oh, my God. Dude, you dude. nailed it, dude, when you said chicks aren't <laughs> yeah, funny, dude. dude. <laughs> I love this stuff. I mean, it's like an okay clip, but people don't really need to like <laughs> crack their dude, voice more, say, dude. Say your point about what you said about Jeff. With he the, said uh, that he wasn't going to say something and then he said like something wildly fucking crazy, yeah. dude. <laughs> You're like, he goes, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it. Like, I don't want to say it. And then, and then he says it. And on top of that, he says before what he says, I yelled at a woman. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I yelled at a said. woman. Dude. I'm not going to say it. Dude. It's just, so and then he says it. It's so funny to like say that. And but I'm not, but it's like you <laughs> you just said that all women are funny, but maybe four are funny. Yeah. And then before that, you admit that you yelled at a woman in public, which is not great, right? Yeah. I like how he does, and he does the. This is saying like I don't like Jeff Dye, but that's not what I'm trying to say. But he goes, he goes like uh, it's a rough take. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he goes like um, he's like uh, fucking women, dude. Like Bill, he goes like a little bit of a Bill Burr voice. <laughs> yeah. When he does it, which cracks me up. We get women, you mean? <laughs> I can't do it. Hey, yep, yeah, just women. I man. can't even crack my voice. I, I maybe there's a video of me out there cracking my voice. Yeah, you know. I'm tired of these uh, female comics. You know, if Bill Burr was doing <laughs> this take. Yeah, yeah. It's like, um, we're trying to have fun, you know. Oh, there you they, go. They you, always hate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. You can crack. Right, your I'm an voice. old guy, but <laughs> yeah, I think that if you hate Brendan Shop and Dan Cook. Yeah, and other great comics like that. You know, it's a, it's yeah. Hey, fuck you. You know, <laughs> fuck, fuck you. 
<laughs> There's an ocean of haters under our feet. <laughs> just like, and then th- th- somebody saying, you know, there's like four good female comics, and Bill Burr's like, yeah, yeah, get, get one in. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm really funny. <laughs> Montez is like, I want to be out of this. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Ever? <laughs> Ooh, good guess, Brandon. Not even. I, I started with female. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Montez's face. Oh, dude. I mean, just there's got oh, that one song. Only four. There's got to be more than four. I know more. Than no, four. there's there's some hilarious women out there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not saying that to be politically I, yeah, correct. No, we're dude. not trying to be woke or anything. No, dude. Felicia Folks, hilarious. Should I say, should I just tell my uh, Jeff Dye story? Yeah, go for it. I've only, it's I not, just cracked my voice. It's not that interesting. But I, at, I think it was after the roast battle. I th- and he would he used to um he was friends or maybe he took that guy Aaron who cares nobody knows who you are but this kid named this comic named Aaron and he took he would take him on the road or something and I think this was after I roast battled Aaron and he came up to us and he was like hey man good job dude you guys you're just hilarious and I was like ah thanks man but I think we kind of sucked. Cause I'm, you know, I'm a hater. Yeah. And he was like, Oh, well then fuck you then man. And walked away, which I took as like a funny kind of riff. Like he's saying like, Oh, come on like have more confidence or whatever. So I was like, Oh, I like this guy, Jeff. But then now that I've seen some of the clips on the show, I think he was serious. (laughs) I think he was saying fuck you because I was like, ah, we didn't do that great. Yeah. And, uh, so now I, I feel like I have a more of a view (laughs) into what that guy's like. That's my Jeff Dye story. Jeff Dye story. Another thing too about that clip, right? We got some more Jeff Dye coming in hot right now, dude. Oh, he's got more stuff. Yeah, but uh, another thing about that clip is that you could, you could, you can, you can really tell like what comics are, you know, fucking on it, society wise, dude. Yeah, fucking in the brain, dude, because they acknowledge that Chang's is funny, dude. Oh, does he do that? Well, don't tell me. Well, no, not. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking. But I'm not talking. Jeff died. Oh yeah, there's no way, right? No, dude. Jeff dies balls deep in fucking flipping off haters. B. <laughs> He's balls deep in yelling at women. Dude. I don't know why I said that. I'm so redacted. No, what I'm trying yeah. to say is yeah. that good comics, fucking good ag- comics, realize that change. Acknowledge funny. it at least. And bad comics don't. And then no, I didn't say bad, dude. Okay. Like, why are you speaking for? I'm sorry, people I'm like speaking you for. Were, like always talking for other people. Uh, what's it called? <laughs> no, but other comics, <laughs> right? I'm not, I'm not saying they're funny or not because that's not my fuck. I'm not sure, the, sure, dude, sure. I'm not the Holy Spirit, right? You know? Well, you're one of the a thousand. I'm, I am one of the thousand. But uh, other comics, when they say maybe because it's Brenda's right in front of them, you know. Right. But when they say like you know those fucking people hating on you suck, they suck ass. I yelled at a woman. It's like so <laughs> such a non sequitur, dude. Yeah, that is <laughs> like, so good, dude. <laughs> I, fu- I love that, dude. I love defending Brendan and also saying that you yelled at a woman. That's oh, just so funny. That's what that's the is perfect. So many of the things that these guys do is like, oh yeah, that's exactly <laughs> like we mess up. I say stupid things all the time. You say stupid things all the time. Yeah. But you know, I think they're like, you know, there are small things or they show how we're dumb. But we don't. There's no like. There's no clip where we're like defending a moron who's clearly bad at comedy and then go, oh, and by the way, dude, I love, I yelled at this woman, dude. Yeah. I was like, how dare you say Brandon Schaub isn't funny. <laughs> That's why he's yelling. Oh my God. <laughs> you fucking bitch. And the craziest thing the about Google it. Google Poppy's hilarious. Is that Brandon Schaub is the least funniest. Dude, oh, he's so bad. Ev- any woman that has ever tried stand up is better than Brendan Schaub. Yeah, for sure. That's where they start is better I'm, than Brendan Schaub. I would Schaub. imagine the woman that he's yelling at is probably confused. She's like, wait a minute. You don't think I'm funnier than Brendan Schaub? Yeah. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. She probably quit comedy. The only way to hurt someone's feelings is to tell somebody that Brendan Schaub is better than them. Oof. It's rough. It felt like you did it to me right now, and I didn't like that feeling, dude. No, I would never say that about you. Thanks, brother. All right. So this one's posted <laughs> by Pharrell 80s. It's called uh, This Fucking Guy is the Worst. How did Hollywood go, B? Sometimes I don't believe rules apply to me. Why does she say that about you? Because I have acted in ways that make that <laughs> would you would presume rules don't apply to me. So like like, like a child. But like yeah, like so like if Chris Porter caught me doing this. <laughs> so like I'm a stickler for lines. I will tell you to the day I die, I don't like rule breakers that cut lines, right? Right. However, uh-oh. When I fly, I fly first class, and sometimes 
people, when they go to board, everyone just starts going like... I hate it. Like, they don't know. It drives me crazy. And so I will very adamantly explain to people as I... Uh, is this for first class? Are you for first class? Oh, nice. Is this for first class? Um, is this first class yet? Are they calling? And then, and I'll just walk in front of everybody. You know why that trigger? Hmm. I don't get. He's saying, yeah. This is another clip that went over my head. He's saying that he want. He's first class, so he tells people, "Hey, are you first class? Yeah. If not, get in the back, poor guy." Oh is that what he's saying? God. Let's see the comments because it kind of went over my head too. I just, I would honestly, is like the worst story ever told, dude. I'm like, yeah, dude, boring, let's get yeah. to the fucking point. Yeah. People just don't need to tell stories better, dude. <laughs> it's the fucking worst, dude. You know, the world is broken when the clowns gets to make a good living for just being a bloated drunk and telling. Okay. Yeah. See, um, mm-hmm. that was, you know, let's be cool guys. Uh, <laughs> that one's bam, bam, Bigelow, dude. <laughs> That's a sick ass name, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That clip makes me be like, I got to stop saying I like anyone. Yeah. Yeah. That is a, that it shows he's very out of touch. Yes. If you're out, if you're waiting for first class and you're bothering other people about what they are, it's like you're first when I just got a, I went on a vacation Yeah. and I was waiting in the line for, I like upgraded a comfort so I could get on the plane sooner, but I wasn't like looking around for other people. You can just walk up and wait. I wasn't in anyone's way. If somebody's like, are you first class? I'd be like, uh, eight inches. You know, I don't <laughs> yeah, <know. laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, I just started doing shabbism. So you make me uncomfortable. I'm going to say shabbism as if I'm a scared animal. Listen, dude, when you're waiting in line for the plane, it's not taking off without you, baby. I'm just saying shit. Just to say. <laughs> but no, like also too, who's people bring in these big bags for carry-ons. You know what I mean? Uh I love doing the crack in the voice. <laughs> that is great. I'm I'm la- I'm catching it every time. I am yeah. I am laughing. <clears throat> um the big bags for carry-ons, dude, bring a laptop, bring a fucking iPad. You don't need a box of Kleenex, dude. You know what I mean? Nobody telling sad stories in first class, B. Yeah. The don't. whole thing about getting on early is so that you can have space to put your fucking shit away, right? They, yeah, definitely. That's the main part of it, yeah. It, I will say though, you know, on top of this point, if I ever fly first class, <laughs> the first time I fly first class, uh-huh. everyone's going to know. I'm going to be walking around. Are you first class? Are you first? I am. <laughs> I am. It's like the big, you're like, like you, guys, you say you don't do that, and then, and yeah. then you do it. Yeah. I like it. People oh. like, you guys should try first class. That's your takeaway, though? <laughs> yeah, that's your takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, big guys that fit in first class seats, like, what? that doesn't make this sense. It makes me mad. You yeah. know, people are just bitches. Yeah. <laughs> that's what my, that, that, um, <laughs> clip that means it's like people are fucking mean <laughs> people are bitches bitches uh all right this next one's posted by uh temporary ad two three three zero it's called Baba not so balls deep in baseball when yasiel puig gets brought up i don't know what that means let's see i know yasiel puig used to play for the dodgers right yeah uh, yes yeah let's see you Best don't get into ever. college just no, no, pro no, oh no, college my, my shit the buffs my buffs oh my gosh yeah i saw Balling. you tweet about it literally like a few minutes ago Balling, dude. <laughs> I uh, oh, there's me with uh, Dwayne Wade, courtside. There's me, Yasiel Puig. Jordan Bro, Lopez. When, when I tell you, like <laughs> Jeff invited me to a game. When I tell you, he's Mister Lakers. I mean, we parked where the players parked. We mm-hmm. walk in. He's slapping the fucking security guard. The owner dicks. kissing me on the cheek down there. He's talking shit to ah, Jenny ah, Bust ah, the ah, whole time. Ah, it was so funny. They, they I've never seen anything so like good. it. If- Damn, dude. Well. The bus family still does cocaine confirmed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Jeff dies. Balls deep in the ice house, dude. I wish they would have kept the part in where he talks about how he yelled at Jenny Bus, dude. He he talked what is that? Really? No, yeah, he screamed at her. He's like, You don't think Brendan Shaw's funny? <laughs> okay. People like you shouldn't own teams. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Anybody, it doesn't matter who you are. Yeah. If you're just a random comic at the Improv, if you're the owner of the Lakers, if you're freaking Hillary Clinton, dude. Yeah. Jeff Dye will light you up, B. Oh, dude, Hillary Clinton is getting lit up, dude. Oh, yeah. Lock yeah. her up. She talks about <laughs> yeah, job, yeah. dude. Yeah. He's not even political. He's like, all he cares about is his boys at Thick Boy Nation. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed in Chang's, dude. I'm trying to crack my voice more. <laughs> um, I was expecting a lot of, or maybe I'm more, you know, disappointed in Bapa. Hmm. I was expecting more Obama is gay talk, dude. Oh, well, you know, they're shop centric. Yeah. But maybe they're just giving you some ideas there. I want it from shop, dude. I don't want it from anyone else. Yeah, I'm surprised shop isn't That's talking That's what I'm about saying, it. dude. He didn't mention it at all? They said there was one clip last week 
Hmm. Where they were like, you know, Obama, what is he? He's like, he likes it in the butt or something like that, dude. <laughs> he likes smoking crack in doing it. <laughs> 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 oh, man. All right. Well, let's see this one. This one's posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. It's called Toe Brings Up Australian Shepherd Dogs. And guess who had one growing up? We typically do guessing segments on here, dude. And this one's in the title. So go ahead. Take the floor, sir. Don't say eight inches. Wait. Make it a little again. Oh, yeah. No. T- uh, Joe Rogan brought up Australian Shepherd Dogs. So oh, and guess who had one growing up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, Scoob, obviously. Okay. Yeah. 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 See how easy it was if you would have just said shop? <laughs> Take their time when they answer questions. I don't like that. Yeah, Let's you see. put me on the spot. I have to think. <laughs> Let's see. In that wild, like Australian shepherds, like Australian sheep herding dogs, they're like corral kids. Yes. They're like, come on, get over this. I grew, I grew yes. up with one. Yeah, and my dad amazing. had me and my yes. brother run in a park, and they would fucking circles around. Get the yes. fuck out of here, dude. This <laughs> man's trash. <laughs> dude. Yeah, no, you're right. That's the right reaction. At some point, you have to put your foot down and be like, hey. Yeah, dude. Not. Everything. You don't have to say every little thing happened to you to relate. And we're fucking rooting for you, dude. You don't even have to say anything. You could just let it ride. Just let it ride, baby. But he doesn't. Just this is the call before the storm. Yeah, dude. Wait a little bit. Yeah. Wait till the storm, dude. You don't have to make the call happen. No, man. My dad used to have this. Not only does he have the dog, but the dog does the shit in Rogan's story. Yeah. Herded him. Yeah. No chance. Dude. Imagine getting herded by a dog. <laughs> Dude, it's kind of sus. <laughs> <laughs> what did the, yeah, where did the it's dog real, herd them? It's real submissive. You know what I'm saying? So Shab's dad just was like, dang, it's dinner time. Go get him, pooch. Yeah. And the dog's like, uh, what are we doing here? And the dog picks him up by his teeth, <laughs> carries yeah. both J- little Jay and little Shab into the house. Yeah. Thank God I have this dog. I couldn't have just called him in the house. People need to get more Australian shepherds, dude. Yeah. This is an unknown common fact. That these dogs hurt kids. Chang's is lucky that uh, that uh, Rogan doesn't have a dog now to hurt up those cats. You know, <laughs> yeah, they keep you busy. Yeah. <laughs> yes. like, Come on, get over this. I, gr- I grew yes. up with one. Yeah, my dad would have me and my yes. brother run in a park. Trash! And they fucking no, did circles it. around. Yeah. That's a city dog. They you know circle the around. Bitch. A city dog. <laughs> a city dog. City. Is this a city herding dog? Dog, take off that hat. Yeah, the hat's whack too. It's a backwards money sign. Listen, it's not I, even the S. It's just the money, the memory symbol. I'm the biggest Brendan shop fan in this tiny little hostage room, dude. That chain is fire. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. The shirt, yeah. and the, there's nothing wrong with the chain and the shirt. He's also showing off a little bicep. I, I know you look. Oh, I see your eyes are looking over <laughs> there, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's like, a normal look for him. Yeah, get back, get yeah. back. We yeah. got yeah. you. Oh, yeah. the old, you saw him. So yeah. He peaked at the right time, right there, man. Uh, insane. What's he giving him? A cigar cutter. Uh, chopper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, curious ending. Great, great result. Artistic. Dude. Yes, I like the art. Nice. Any any thoughts on that, dude? It's a great clip, dude. Very funny. Did you ever have an Australian Shepherd growing up? Oh yeah, you know, I mean, we had we had one. My mom used to send it out to herd me in the in the house. It was a city, a city dog come. You know, would ride the metro, pick me up at my job, and oh, herd dude, me. Dude, my back mom in. rode the metro. Oh yeah, yeah. It was the city, <laughs> the city metro, dude. Oh wow! Look <laughs> yeah. at you! Look at you guys! I know. What does he expect from? What does he re- expect the result to be? I don't just know. Like, just words on a camera, I guess. Fuck, dude. You're already Joe Rogan's friend, dude. Yeah, it's like you've already done that. You don't need to be more his friend. What are you trying to accomplish? (laughs) People just don't get it, dude. Uh, (laughs) This one's posted by All I Do Is Lie To You. Again, it's going to be at the New York Comedy Festival. Are you? Let's see. Uh, so you, you do New York City every now and then? Yeah, I'm I'm at Gramsci Theater in uh, November for the Comedy Festival. That's... Thank you. (laughs) James, light attention. We got one! (laughs) Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. Oh, come on, dude. I don't want to see this, man. Oh, man. Come on, you have bro. To sit through it, There's dude. too many of these fucking. Oh, where he's lying, dude. <laughs> <sighs> Let's see. Search. Okay, so New York. Wait a minute. Last week, wasn't there a clip where he was. Uh, they had a bio for him? Do you remember that? I don't know if it was the same thing. Let's see. That was like the Philly thing or something. Or, or like Skankfest. Bill 
Burr search. Bill Burr live. Okay. Madison Square Garden. Jesus Christ, dude. Uh, they turned off the music? I did. Oh, right. Yeah. You got the best brains. Dave Attell. Uh, okay, Town Hall. You got it. Um, this is work I think right here, though. Yeah. I mean, honestly, great sh- editing, you know, shot selection. Brendan Schaub. Oh, come on. Nothing. Dude. Come on, man. Zero. Did he spell it right? Damn. Fucking shit, dude. That, yeah, they spell it. That'd be funny. He does have a show, but it's spelled S-H-C-A-U-B or some crazy shit. Yeah. Man, dude. Well, he can perform over here at our mothership any day, dude. Yeah. We'll get you. Come over here. We'll get you on fourth wall, Papa. Get you on the podcast, dude. And that too. Jesus Christ, dude. I want to give him some stage time. That's the promo right there, baby. (laughs) People always love that, dude. Uh, (laughs) This one's posted by Ryan Joseph 82. It's called the shop finally got invited to the comedy mothership. Yeah. I haven't seen this one yet. I don't know if you have. Me neither. No, let's see. Our roadcaster gadouched about six minutes of us talking. We'll just start this clip over because I think it's the beginning of this clip Mm. where we got cut off here. We'll try to recreate some magic. You know what I mean? Rest Mm -hmm. in peace to the audio. Like Uh, a gringo poppy shot again. Yep. (laughs) Redo's, dude. Redo. Redact. What are we doing here, dude? Water. Let's see. That green room's great at the mothership, Joe. Oof, fun, that right? whole club Fuck. is gorgeous. There's dude, no, okay, first of all, so we just watched this fucking clip, dude, and we commented on how they always talk about this, mm-hmm. and now we have to watch it again. This is a fucked up form of torture, dude. It is kind of like um, Groundhog Day yeah. because they constantly relive these moments that they had sitting at a table together, you know, just the best the best ever oh, do it. It was the best. All those allegations. That was the best. <laughs> yeah. Th- this is a time when all of them are allegedly doing various crimes. Yeah. And they're like, it was, you know, we oh. just, we get together. We didn't ask where you were because we were afraid to hear the real answer. <laughs> and we talked about uh, how good the sets were. You know, so I remember one time, dude, I remember one time, dude, oh, no. uh, we were just sitting there. Brian came in. You know what he said? Funny. Just doubled up. <laughs> I fucking laughed and laughed. I was like, the funny just doubled up. <laughs> and then he's like, I'm going to get right in there. And I'm going to do my 20 minutes. I'm going to fatten it up a bit. I'm going to fatten it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude, remember we would be in the green room and Brian would never take no for an answer, dude. <laughs> That's just like how he was, dude. Dude, the one time when we were in the green room and like Brian, it was me, yeah. Brian, yeah. Schultz, yeah. Shab, every yeah. all the greatest comedians ever do it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, like a fucking moose came in the green room and just started <laughs> fucking Schultz, dude. Just like, dude, just like, fucking bit Schultz's arm off. And then fucking Schultz tried to fight the moose. It's like, you're gonna lose, B. It's a moose. It's a moose. What are we doing here? So you just you just spot. took everything that was great at the comedy store, and then we're like, I'm gonna move here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, make it a little better. Yeah, Dude, you know what? I didn't think You're about this because it's never been said before ever. But the mothership, it's kind of like the comedy store, hmm? oh, the table. Yeah. It's like, I mean, yeah. it's like, it's like the comedy store is. I think you'd be surprised. No, the mothership is. The Gringo Poppy, but then you go to the comedy store and you're like, I think you'd be surprised because it's the same fucking place. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, dude. Seven times a week. <laughs> <laughs> room is Virtually just identical. Ab- yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we did everything the right way. You know, we set it up the right way. It took a long ass time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that, that, just being in that green with, room with Schultz and everybody. And we were all that, talking that, shit. It was, I was so like, oh, good man. to so be fun. together. Uh, like, man, I, I, so I miss that. Life, I fucking miss that. Yeah. We that, don't get that now. Well, I wasn't that's a I problem. I miss it, dude. I yeah. fucking miss it hard. I miss the time that Joe Rogan spent with Andrew Schultz more than I miss my grandparents. Dude, I miss when Krista Lee would bring 18 year olds to the comedy store, dude. Dude, Delia, dude, don't even get me started. Dude, the fucking dolphin bit, dude. You knew he was there when he was. (laughs) I missed that. (laughs) Problem, like we had that at the store. Yeah, we did. Where it was like a fun hang, where you would go, you know, you do your weekends on the road or whatever. But when you're in town on the weekdays, you hang out with your boys, we laugh and talk shit, hug each other. So fun, so dude. Every day at the comedy store, dude. Every day at the comedy store, just it was just. 
It was just, Bad it was, it was, it was just bone alert, bone alert, bone alert. <laughs> Every step was bone alert, bone alert, bone alert, bone alert, bone alert. Bone you but, be long and we got a lot of like really good up and coming people. Like the, the in Austin, micers, yeah. <laughs> they're great, bro. Yeah. The comics out here, man. Big shout out to them. I, I saw some of these young guys. Still great writers. Say, if you build it, they miss that. If you build it, they come. And Joe built so it. So there. Darling, yeah. 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 the guy that goes like real they, deep. He's like, darling, <laughs> darling. I loved hanging in the green yeah. room with you so much. The Sunset Strip was a hot place to be. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, baby. The best nights of our lives yeah. spent there watching Shab talk to Anna Letterman. Yeah. When I whispered in your ear, said bone were alert, <laughs> and you said no. I said eight inches, baby. Damn, Esther goes both ways. <laughs> Esther, Esther was out there going both ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have this two night open mic program, and we also have door people at the store They're or at, at the, uh, the the mothership. mothership rather that all are comics. Yeah. So they auditioned in front of Too Adam right. to become a door person Just like with the their store. act. Yeah. So they had to have like promise as a comic. So the whole idea is like to have like a mentorship <laughs> program and have a program where, you know, you can be a guy who's working the door and, you know, you've been doing open <laughs> mics for a year and next thing you're hanging out the bar. The worst podcast of all time, dude. Yeah, it's bad. And he's right now he's talking about um, door guys. The mentorship. And we were saying that Shab should do that because it'd be yeah. very funny if Shab was a door guy at the store. Yeah. Or I mean the mothership. Yeah, dude. There's a... Uh, yes. You you want to sit in the front? That's your only takeaway. <laughs> but yeah, the front's like the best place to sit, dude. He's just doing bits. He's terrible at the job. Ah, <laughs> uh, do, do I get on tonight? Can I do, I do five minutes at the beginning? No. <laughs> no, 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 no. You would not ask for five minutes, dude. Well, that's what he'd get as a door like, guy. You get, you know, I can't do anything. He'd, he'd start complaining, dude. Oh yeah, for he sure. would immediately start complaining. He's he smoke. He starts smoking cigarettes with all the other door guys. He's like, they only give us five minutes, dude. I have a 24-minute special on YouTube, dude. <laughs> with Andrew Schultz. <laughs> and we're all palling around together. And there's this this vibe there. There's this sort of camaraderie. Yeah, there's a vibe there. It's not. Let's just say it's not a Jeff Die vibe. Yeah, no. We don't w yell at women anymore, dude. That's at the LA. mothership, is that what you saying? Yeah, that's an L.A. thing. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, dude. That exists, that makes you feel like you're a part of something. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you're just starting and this person just headlined mass and square garden. It doesn't matter. We're all just comedians. And that's all you, brother. That's your thing. The same when thing you did in L.A. And the, the you left, and it's fucking... Well, it's, everyone should try to adopt that because we need more comics, and it's hard. It's hard. We, we need more... We don't need more comics, Joe Rogan. No. There's, there's, there's a thousand, and that's the that's the amount. And you know what, dude? And only that. G -g 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 with the whole fucking uh, open mic system, and if you're an open micer in Austin, please discuss this with us in the comments. I'll respond. But I've heard bad things about the open mic system in fucking Austin, dude. Really? There's too many comics. Oh, yeah, it could be. I I remember I saw like some clip. One of the clips we watched, they had like a crazy amount of people waiting to go on to kill Tony, like the lines, they had to kick people out or something. Well, see, this is not an make open mic. Make them stay. Thing. Kill, kill Tony is not an open mic. I know, but like... It's a glorified meet and greet. <laughs> what I'm saying, those all those guys, yeah. they probably go to those mics. Oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Sorry about that. I, yeah. I shopped you there. I, I, I cooned you there, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's fucking the hottest place of all time, Texas. It's just like the sun is directly above Texas, apparently. Mm -hmm. and fucking wet and humid bugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Little bugs like this guy right here, Joe mm -hmm. Rogan, dude. Mm -hmm. Just out there fucking started comedy club stuff like that. You can't even suck dick for five minutes in the belly room, dude. That's fucked up. You used to be able to do that. Yeah. Back in the good days, dude. You remember when we were fucking out there, dude? I was going to be like, did you hear about that one time I did five minutes in the belly room, dude? <laughs> do, it's hard, and it's hard to do when you, you feel like you're getting <laughs> shit on by your peers. Like, you want support. It's so hard, bro. You want it support. Is so it's hard. hard. so hard to say goodbye. Yeah. It's so hard to say goodbye <laughs> to the comedy store. <laughs> What's that one song uh, by the Blink-182, uh, I Miss You? Oh, ba -boom -boom. ding, 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 ding. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And ding, I don't feel ding, like, ding. listen, there, boom, boom, there's boom. a lot of funny people in L.A. Remember, great, man. something, you know, something, something, like, something. The, crowds the background's in the background, the something, fault. something. They can't, like, no. make people magically change out what they find funny. Well, you bring a good crowd to a place yeah. with good comedy. Remember the shows you used to do? I'd be in the green room. It'd be Rogan, Bill Burr. Nobody gives a fuck who was in the green room, dude. They should play, like, yeah, some Blink-182 or... Um, voice to men over this, like Adam's song. Yeah. 
Mascalco, David the, Tell, the David Tell, Joey Diaz, Joey Diaz. Sorry, J- J- Tom Segura, Theo. It, it'd be the biggest comics ever, and they'd, it'd be the lineup. And I'd be like, "This is the lineup." I'm I in. Will yeah. miss. I could not believe it, dude. It was it was Tuesday. I was in a comedy drug. club and I saw Tom Segura's name. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I fucking came in my pants. This should be called the Eagle Companion, dude. Yeah, dude. These guys, shut up. The friend shows that we used to do. You suck at, the at comedy, Brian. You're not funny. Yeah, he sucks. What are you surprised about? We're in the main room. We're some of my favorite. You should shows be surprised that-, that you're on it there. That people are <laughs> still putting you on things. You never made anyone laugh. You suck. Let's try to power through this here. Forty seconds. Remember, people oh. just stop in. Like, get up there. Get up there. And just like, and so that's what we're doing here. You know, like we, any night you'll see Ron White, Shane Gillis. You remember when we did, uh, you did Rogan and the Friend at the Improv and the power was off and we still did stand up yes. and my voice was gone? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I did stand up with just yelling. With candles. Uh, no, talking hold on. To with candles. That's candles. Candles. Legit candles. And we, there was a, a generator that gave us one little light. Yep. There was one little like emergency light. It's we set that up. Mind. We're going to cancel the show. And I'm I was like, this shine. would be fun. Like, let's have fun. It's and it was so fun. Was Everybody loved it. The I'm audience loved it. It was so cool. That we're just it's doing stand-up with no microphone, and you got to kind of see like how you use the and mic and what you can do with no mic. Gay people. Uh, I changed my mind, dude. That sounds like a really good time. Uh, no microphone and candles with Joe Rogan and Brendan Child. Come on, dude. Come Balls on. deep in that. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. All right, all right oh, let's get the fuck from the off that, that clip, dude. Skits and beers. Oh, posted by Sork on Bird. I yeah. mean, Nicky. Nicky. Uh, this one's called CEO Finds John Africa. Let's see what this nice. is about, dude. In passing uh, in Vegas. Not me. Not you, but one of your friends, Luke. Brendan Schaub. Yeah, wow. baby. <laughs> Who the hell is John Africa? He's standing right there, Luke. Look at that. <laughs> yes. And Luke, speaking of John Skips Africa, and they, bits. you just couldn't resist, you fuck. They, they had Johnny <laughs> Bones. Put that back up. Put that back up for a second. Nice. Yeah, skids and bits. Spicy recooked dish from the press. Is that recooked? Well, just the John Africa part. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I guess recooked might not be the right word. <laughs> very good. All right. So this one's posted by Who the Fuck Are We? It's called This Almost As Good as When Malik Hurt His Feelings. Let's see. Matter, like what? land law. You don't go There's to a no planet, water. a planet that is 80% water, and you're allergic to that, and you go to this planet? That's to check stupid. things out. They didn't think they were throwing in their face. Oh, Maybe they were stupid. cool. You could see it from outside in this outer space. It's all science. Head science officer right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He was, also, he, was also like, the, mang, mang, he was also mang, the IT guy in, 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 for, in Independence Day. IT guy. That is yeah. funny. Yeah, <laughs> IT guy. What else? Hold on. No, no, no. no. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dude. He wanted to go to the next clip. Dude, I will say, I don't know. I don't know about uh, what they were talking about, dude, but I do have a little beef with signs. I think they're talking about signs, the movie. Yeah, I'm talking about signs. Me. You've seen it, right? Mm-hmm. Great movie. Special time. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know why we were so hyped about one alien, dude. It's like a bunch of aliens came, whatever, but they only showed them fight one alien. It's like, come on, dude. You know what I mean? Come on, M. Night Shyamalan. Can't get a fucking war scene of aliens and humans, and then they realize that the water is bad. You know what I mean? You know why? You know why you think that, right? You know why? What? Do you know why? What? Because you're a numbers guy, B. I'm a numbers guy. You're a numbers guy. That's why you think that. We need more aliens. Of course you did. You've always been a numbers guy. There's times where I am indeed a numbers guy, dude. (laughs) And right now is one of them. (laughs) Dude, one alien, dude? Can't fight who you are, B. And the the alien was injured. What kind of bitch-ass aliens did they send to our fucking planet, dude? I heard a Samstring trying to erase uh, another alien. Dude, they were more fucking loyal to their cause in fucking Japan during World War II. That alien should have killed himself, dude. Well, you know, what we should have done is find Hitler in World War II. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. All right. So this next one's posted by All I Do Is Lie to You. It's called Curiosity Gadoosh the Cat. Hair is the lit me up a little jolk from the Gomez special. So I might have to cut this part out of the, the podcast. But if you go to our Patreon, you get early access and uncut versions of Timos. All right. Yeah. Here goes. At this point in my life, I've had to apologize to three separate mentally handicapped athletes. 
and the third mentally handicapped athlete that we had to apologize to on behalf of the Legion of Skanks podcast was Brendan Schaub, who is a comedian <laughs> and a former MMA fighter. <laughs> All right, New York City, I gotta go. That's not his closer. No. Was that? That was his closer? I think so, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to review it? That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's the craziest thing uh, we've ever seen. His closer is a Brennan Schaub joke. Yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, he probably doesn't talk about him at all other than that. I guess. That's wild. I haven't seen it yet. People talk about us. Do it. We have a show. This is the culture, baby. Yeah. Daddy. Daddy. Brennan Schaub has taken over. Comedians are now using their closer joke. As There's a Brennan Schaub Chab. thing. That's crazy. Brennan Schaub. Ever heard of him? He wanted those views, Bapa. Yeah. I know what you're doing, Luis. Uh, speaking of specials, dude, have you seen uh, Shane Gillis's new special? Um, yeah, but I was a no, not not yet. No, I haven't watched it. Fucking yet. fire, I mean, I'm dude. waiting, dude. I'm waiting. I you're enjoyed watching, it. You know, I don't know. <laughs> you never right. know. So this one's posted by Tio Sanders. It's called Post Bathroom Break Hang with Friends. I think. Oh, I want to say one thing. Post. I I have. I came back from Mass and I went to a nature preserve. I have mosquito bites all over my legs, and I still am not doing this as much as Shab does. Oh yeah, <laughs> just point that out. <laughs> all right, let's see. Oh, actually. Oh, wrong, wrong clip again. Let's see here. Bro, here's the thing. He's going to be better in his next fight now. Because now yeah. he knows what he did to Izzy. He's yeah. going to be better. So is Izzy. So I think they're trying to insinuate that uh, he's doing drugs, which I'm Tripoli? not. A, yeah. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that because he's yeah. a sober individual. And I'm also sober almost five years this coming week. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, blockbuster. <laughs> Tio Sanders. No, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, maybe he's dude. Sober people are one of some of the weirdest people I've ever met in my life. Oh, yeah. 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 I, mean, I could see getting weird when you don't and you take something out of your life. Yeah. yeah. Like if you if you were to stop drinking, we'd see a whole different side of Cooney. Dude. I don't really drink that. <laughs> <laughs> So the, so that's funny. what the alcoholics say. Yeah, that's what people that have a really bad <laughs> yeah. problem say. I don't even drink. I have like seven drinks a night, dude. That's not bad. No, I. I just, <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm seven <laughs> drinks a week. <laughs> I don't even have that. All right. This next one is posted by a Responsible Bar 4787. It's called uh, Togi's Pissed at Callan and Calls Him a Mooch. Did you bring a gold coin? No, that, that was here. Somebody, uh, somebody left this here. I forgot to give it to me. Yeah, don't eat it. Put it down. Yeah. Put it down. Put it down. I bet it's you eat everything. <laughs> you, you, you ate a shrimp. Oh, yeah, I took shrimp. one shrimp. You don't even ask, though. You just reach and grab people's food. Uh, okay. No, I do. You always do that. You I've always never. take a cut of people's steak. Oh, Tell me he doesn't. Fuck. Tell me he doesn't. Oh, I've never done that. He, you do that. I've taken all the I've time. I've taken a, 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 a cut oh of your steak. Oh, my God. Let me try some of that. You've done, the you've the done that. Oh, my God. When have I ever done that? I've heard people complain about I hate when people do that shit. I have a friend that does that. He he's always like, "Let me try that. Let me try this. Let me try that." It's like, dude, let me offer it to you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you uh your it, blog bus. If it quacks, flaps its wings, you know, has some fucking paddle feet, it's a duck, dude. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah. Brian likes to take what's not his. Yeah. He's not a hawk. He's a duck. Yeah. yeah. I always tell my son, "Don't be a Brian. Be a Gerardo." <laughs> 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 and I'm like, oh my god, he did it to me. You wait, I've heard people go. It's your thing, dude. That's my room. That's the room. You cut people's That's food and you eat it. <laughs> That's the word. I'm yeah, he doesn't really ask for consent, right? On the street, yeah. Right? People, people are food. talking. You're like, dude. that looks good. Let me try that. Like, hey, <laughs> I bully into other people's plates. Not bully, just mooch. <laughs> I just mooch. It's a dude. mooch move. More. Fucking, I'll take this. I'll move. steal this fucking chocolate, bro. <laughs> Somebody gave that to me. <laughs> what? I forget what it is. Yeah, yeah why don't you be open cold? it? I told you not I to did open it. it. It just came out. Back is chocolate. Jeez, uh, you open the fucking chocolate. I did take your sake. It's good. This is good. Don't steal dad's chocolate. He's our dad. He won't invite us back. People are just bitches. Yeah, people are always stealing food. Choto? Yeah. Super oh, man. Yeah, his chocolate's all fucked up. <laughs> Your chocolate's <laughs> open my chocolate. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta fucking shit. keep it sealed, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was looking to see if it was real gold. You opened the seal? I pocket it. You thought it was real gold and it weighs yeah, nothing? I would have <laughs> taken it. And sold it on the black market. This Fuck. came. <laughs> <sighs> Rogan's like, I fucking made friends with six chill like child yeah. adults and this is what i live have to live with they eat my candy 
yeah. in front of me. I can imagine it's like a being on like a coke fueled binge, and then like out of that comes a kid, you know, and then sobriety too. And then every time you see that kid, you're just like, <laughs> I did a lot of coke back in the day, dude. You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just like yeah, Jesus maybe. Christ, <laughs> what That's was the, I thinking? The kid's just like, <laughs> yeah, just like oh, dude. Yeah, you're saying they're like crack babies. I didn't say that because <laughs> that's different. That's when the, oh, the mom's doing coke and stuff. Right. But you, the kid, the time, special time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Maybe you, it was out of wedlock, dude. You weren't even married. That's disgusting. Right? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go to this one, dude. This one's called Never Forget Stand Up is the Hardest. B Slob Just Couldn't Let It Pass. Posted by Pharrell 80s. Busy. Yeah, I in my, do. In my do. heart, I love it. What's, what's that's not to guy. love about him? He's but awesome. This is the game they play. Yes. This is the game yes. they play. And get about, and, think about Izzy. He, he even came out and defended you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like no, Izzy's, Izzy's the fucking man. Dude. Izzy's great in all ways. Yes. It's just like and in he'll MMA, be back. you're he'll gonna back. have a winner and you're gonna have a loser. And every now and then you see something special. And we saw tonight was special. 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 Yeah. I, I always a great say when I watch that though, I'm I'm always thankful that I. It's such a hard. It's such a hard gig. Oh it's my such God. a fuck. It might be the hardest gig, right? I mean, you end up other than being a firefighter, a cop, or a soldier. Maybe a football player. It's one of the hardest ways to make a living. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, don't 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 discredit yourself. Stand up's a hard way to make a living. <laughs> stand stand up's tough. I mean, I know it's you've been doing it for fifty years. I'm standing. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I love it, dude. I love that. I mean, it almost takes balls yeah. to say that. Dude, did you see? Bre- After all, he's beaten all the beating he's taken. Shop has a fucking apron on, dude. He's cooking right now, dude. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. He's in the kitchen <laughs> making dishes for himself. He's behind the orange. He's like, I'm gonna walk. get you some more views, right? <laughs> yeah. I know you got millions and millions, but I'm gonna say that stand up is harder than firefighting. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this one's supposed to be light you up. B. It's called Dicey Dicey with the tag Dicey Dicey, and then it said live feed. Uh, but an awkward cut after Rogan calls Brian annoying. Let's see. <laughs> Good for you. It's not good to have pesticides and herbicides. Listen to me right now. I don't buy a fucking thing the Russians say. Spread you're, all over. You're buying it. You're buying. Putin you're buying the Ukraine. Why am I buying it? I'm you're, not buying anything. I'm, you're what a I'm, Putin shill. I'm saying is they're talking about oh it on television, God. Brian. Fuck, you're a Putin shill. Ta- Brian, you're, you're being annoying. This. They're talking about <laughs> it on ta- much better. Very, that boy is tatted. Very happy with that. Those ones on his legs and his lower back, down them painful ones where they tap you. I love it. He just is like, nope. That's so funny. I feel like uh, that, but I feel like there's a longer one uh, of that. So no wonder these dudes suck up to toe so much. The moment you question him, he sulks like a child Mm -hmm. by uh, Higgs Boston Blues. Let's see at the ending because it's the same clip. Uh, You're a Putin show. Brian, you're being annoying. They're talking about it on (laughs) top. Oh, so it did cut like that during the live feed. I don't know. I can't. I, I never know what's true and what's not with Chang's, but it's just so funny. That's wild. If not true, great editing. Wow. All right, let's go to the next one. This one's called uh, All This Time Off and Brendan Still Using the Same oh, this Hack is a classic. Bits. Yeah, yeah. Posted by uh, Ryan Joseph 82. Ryan did some great yeah, clips. Dude, this he was week. cooking fucking. There's steam coming out of his little yeah. cubicle at the fucking chicken yeah. today. Kitchen. <laughs> chicken. <laughs> In this real talk, guys. Fellas, for those of you in this room that send dick pics, explain this to me. How in the world do you send a bad dick pic? It makes no sense. You're the director of the movie, Baba. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, real, though. You're the director of the movie, Baba. I don't know if that's real, though, dude, because there's only two C's. <laughs> if, if it's not three C's, it didn't come from Brendan. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So that's easy fact check right there, B. <laughs> Uh, let's get pushing here because we're already at fucking an hour and a half. Dude. Oh shit! Uh, this one's called uh, Brian tries to weasel in an invite for Brendan, Brenda, and him to sit behind Joe at UFC 300. Posted by All I Do Is Lie to You, dude. Let's see. At it five zero. Yeah, let's see what Izzy says. Did he leave? Yeah, he's out of the, yeah, right. out of the gun. He left. Be curious what he posts. Curious. Hmm. What a feeling, though, right? Curious. Wow. That's rematch why UFC the 300. It's the greatest. When you watch this, you UFC like, 300 rematch in Vegas. Oh, my God. Sean Strickland's hey, let's hometown. All, let's all sit behind dun, Joe Rogan. Dun, dun, dun. We, should, we might have to go to that one. Let's go, boys. Let's be fun. Go. Let's just, go. just think about the year in the UFC. So you had Sugar Sean upset Aljo. I used to be, dude, when, you know how people have chips on their shoulder? I used to have a fucking stack of Pringles against Dana White. <laughs> right. It's all good now. 
Okay. Thank God he made some of those choices he made that, you know, the reason I left the UFC and I'm grateful for him now. Is it really all good or are you just kind of like accepting like whatever it's in the past? I'm just going to not care about it. No, anymore. it's all good. You've, you have had conversations and shit. No. Oh, <laughs> dude, there should be like a warning for like an Adam 22 jump scare right there. Dude guys, a weirdo. It's a sicko. <laughs> Fucking re- have you heard about that guy? Not really. Any thoughts? Or are you pa- falling asleep already? I I got I got uh, gadoosh a little bit when you're like, let's get through this. So I was like, all right, let's get through. Oh, <laughs> I was just it's fucking podcast. You tell me dude. something, I just go be. <laughs> it was just banter is where yeah. we make the money, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what are the chances, dude, that Brendan and uh, Brian are sitting behind Joe at any UFC event? No. Let alone one of the biggest cards probably of the year. No chance. No chance. All right, so this one's posted by Ryan Joseph eighty two. Dude, he's out here. Dude, oh, no. uh, it's called Callan's new political show, Murders Row, episode one. Is it called Murders Row? I don't know. I think that's probably not. It's probably just joking around, like so, because they're all there. Whatever, oh, okay. They're like not doing well. I think I did see this clip. You right. did. I've seen like all the Ryan Joseph clips. This oh, week. okay. Interesting. This one has a, a, a jump scare, Jim Brewer, dude. Yeah, is this the one where Jim Brewer is like, Vasa, Vasa, like he pretends to be the German guy? I just saw that and I was stopped it. I didn't watch the rest of it. Okay. Let's see. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 fucking it up. Mm-hmm. Let's go. It's yeah. professional it's, wrestling. But it's good for You business. get this side to believe in this and bigger. And somehow we even get homosexuals to start fighting one another. Yes. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> Send the thunder, sire. Make sure all the media pushes out immediately. Put on the Time magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then that Klaus. I remember Schwab. magazines. That's Klaus Schwab. He's doing. I remember <laughs> magazines. Dead on. One was fun day. We struck the entire nation. Uh, when is it when you get fat that it's it, it's you can hear it? You know when you it's hear like your voice, throat? like yeah. We have to, we have to. Destroy one another and watch their blood throb through the streets. <laughs> yeah, but I think it. I think it's also important though to f- where I don't do the both the both sides thing either because there is there is truth. You know, okay. and I do. So the beginning I don't understand because he says professional wrestling, but then he goes into like a like a Nazi bad guy thing. Yeah, and then. I it's so I feel bad for them that they have to pretend that that's funny. They have to go, ha, ha, yeah, yeah. I, I hate that. And um, then Crowder calls Jim Burr fat. Oh no, he says uh, Klaus is. You could. It's funny how you could hear the fat in somebody's voice. So who is Klaus Schwab? Klaus Schwab, World Economic Forum. That's right. Yeah. Right. Is he fat? Eh, yeah. Could, I okay. mean, it's a good description. So he's calling him fat. No, he's I mean, trying to like you're not. He's not yeah. fat. Though. He's like he, he, his voice just sounds fat. I think is what he's saying. Okay. Well, I think that Crowder is realizing how horrible this bit is. Even though Crowder is not funny. Yeah. He's realizing like, okay, this is bombing. I'm gonna try and talk about fat voice. Yeah. And maybe we'll strike comedy gold there. Yeah. Because of how bad the monster villain thing that. Brewer is doing. I think you're just scared, dude, because the right's getting funny. <laughs> yeah. You know? I'm terrified. Yeah. Now. After watching that, I yeah. can't. Let's see here. You think that truth One is truth. Not, yeah. It's not your truth. It's not my truth. Right. People say my truth. Like, well, there's a truth. Yeah. That, that's what it is. They say. Yeah, the left says my truth. It's just good Steven, evil. That's, left is. Yes. It's just evil. Yeah. Left yeah. is. No, all, they're all nice words for evil. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It starts with a language. But what's yeah. good, guys, evil. is that when you say right. that, like you just said, that there is the truth. When you have this fucking madness over here, all it does is get, it forces you to start defining the bedrock you're anchored into. It started, it forced. Any thoughts? It's a lot of. I can't watch this. Yeah, it's bad. But I, I like, I like when Brian talks because this it reminds me of that speech he gave at the Crowder thing where he's like, oh, yeah. they're trying to silence us. And you know that happens when the people stand up. And me and the Crowder Fest over here, we're ready. Yeah. We're going to make you laugh, and we're going to make you think until they arrest us, and then we're going to do it from prison. And, like, all this weird, like, it's shit. Strap the fuck in, <laughs> yeah, dude. Strap the fuck. Yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> this is you to kind of solidify your political and moral philosophy. That's not a bad thing. But but it's when you it's start to see to that there's a, a tidal wave. When you're a comedian. Never works. 
Yeah. Being on a soapbox is like the least funny place to be. What's a soapbox? It's like a th- literal thing that you stand on. That's just a metaphor for like people that give speeches and stuff. But I think it comes from like a soapbox. Someone just literally standing on it and giving a speech. That's my guess. I don't know. I always I know be soap to like clean my body. I didn't know they were making boxes now. Life of insanity coming your way, and you got to go. Hey guys, we gotta. I gotta batten down the hatches, and I need. I need to figure out what I'm standing on. Let's make sure we got our guns lined up and clean, and our powder is fucking dry. That's 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 a good. Notice how soap. nobody's talking. Yeah, they're just letting him go. They're just be. like the best place. And the funny, it doesn't come standing on a soapbox. You know where it comes from? Red fucking chairs. Yeah, dude. Two movie chairs. That's where you make fun. That's of why, dude. He doesn't have his fucking red chair. You notice what he's not talking about? Baddies, numbers, the table, yeah. all the shit that we want. Anal- Gays. Analytics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. Analytics. Shadow band. Shadow band. The thing, like you just said, when you just said, there's not your truth, there's the truth. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the problem is when you have people in positions of power. That's why I always say, you know, they say the military industrial complex. Remember Code Pink? No. Bro, the most uh, fucking stupid. Fuck Steven Crowder. Fuck Jim Brewer. Fuck Brian Callen. Yeah. And that fucking weird looking bald dude. Dude, dude. Oh, uh, he's a famous comic. I'm just so tired. I don't remember what his name is. He's actually pretty funny. Okay, so let's, this is the last clip because this is a long episode. Or it used to be. Uh, let's see here. This one's posted by all I do is lie to you. It's called the studios. AC got cut down by 50% by the owners. I haven't seen this one yet, but I got to say the fucking title is the most intriguing. Let's see. It's warm in here, bro. It's warm. <laughs> I create a lot of heat. It might be the magic mind. You feel it in the flow state. Oh, you feel better. I feel better, but I'm hot because the oh. AC, they decided to cut down on the I see, I like percent. Somehow. Do you do better? You do very well in the cold. I, I do well in all, but I would, yeah. you know, I prefer in my studio. <laughs> Every weather. Eeny, eeny temperature. Cold. Yeah. But in you the, have no In problem. the middle of the you summer. Have no problem. <laughs> Why would they cut? Who is the, the overseers of TFAT K? <laughs> I don't know. I love how he says I do, I do good in every weather. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's cold or hot, mild. I'm going to fucking ball out. Yeah. Like, Netflix, Papa, Daddy. Okay. Well, well, let's finish it off with this one then, dude, because I did watch a little bit of this one. I thought it was okay. hilarious. This last clip? Yeah, last clip, dude. Fucking yeah. Jesus Christ. How many it's clips long, were there this week? One. Let's see here. Yeah, Joe Coy's a monster. Joe Coy crushed it. So funny. He went on before. So he goes, he walks in. He goes, oh, good to see you. I'm going to go on. What? He goes, you're next? I'm going to go on. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, <laughs> dude, 30 minutes of just improv and crushing. Yeah. Just straight off the Merlin. dome. Such a savage. Merlin. Mm-hmm. And then we get done around midnight. He goes, you want to get tattoos? <laughs> I go, what? It's midnight, Joe. He goes, I know I get this tattoo artist, man. I go, I do want one, but I'm not good. And he goes, yeah, I'm going to get this full sleep. I'm like, bro, you're going to be up to <laughs> seven in the morning. I'm not, and he's like, you'll go after him. I'm like, no, no, no. Hey, no, no. he flies private. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. Different animal. When you f- <laughs> I don't think that's true. <laughs> what is the box? Is that magic? Oh, line? the box. I guess. Uh, let's watch this one. Okay. The, just, okay. So first of all, the last clip was posted yeah, by Joe all I do is lie to you. Bapa got bumped by Joe Coy at a club. <laughs> and then the this one's posted by haphazard, dude. Oh, throwing it out, throwing it out with a bang here, dude. Mr. Right, Morning, guys. Mr. Morning drinker gets mad at chin for drinking. <laughs> Ready? You gobble down. Uh, yeah. All right. What do you got, Chin? Oh, actually, let's start with the. You're drinking already, huh, Chen? Me and Georgie, because we thought we were going to go get dinner. We're tonight. doing tomorrow. All right. No, well, not dinner. I've never said dinner. Lunch. Been dinner. Or lunch, yeah, whatever. Yeah. It would be in like a celebration. Yeah. Um, Let's see here. <laughs> Georgie, I need your help on this. I'll tell you what. Speaking of snorting and sucking, I'll tell you something I, that I, I gobbled down. You gobbled down? <laughs> 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 I have no clue what that thing in the middle is, dude. But he says, "Speaking of snorting, I was thinking they were a magic mind, probably because uh, Brian said something about magic mind. Was it, oh, I thought that like they had a bit maybe where they were all going to drink at the same time. But he's, oh. is he saying that that shot or chin is like getting drunk? I think so. Yeah. Damn, dude, that's messed up. It does look like he's like missing out because he's drinking on that big gulp. All right, one last thing. What's that? The drinking already. There used to be this app where you can make it look like people are calling each other. So if I did it oh, to yeah. you and Miguel, it looks like Miguel is calling you and vice versa. 
I did that to this bar manager and the owner of the bar just to mess with them. They're friends of mine. I did not think this what happened was going to happen happen. But you would get to hear like a minute of the conversation and it goes um it's it's like uh hey Sean and then you hear hey Rudy and then he's like what's up Sean and Sean's like you called me Rudy and then there's this pause for a second and Rudy the owner of the bar goes drinking already Sean <laughs> then it hops up. I was like, oh, fuck. I can't believe I did that. I feel so bad. <laughs> so that's what uh, Brendan just said to Chin. Yeah. If you enjoyed our show, tune in next week. Bye.